What if your need for sleep is actually your brain's emergency response to toxic stress building inside your cells? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today, we're examining a simple idea with big consequences for your energy. Sleep isn't downtime. It's your body's built-in safeguard when mitochondria leak electrons and generate reactive oxygen species that must be cleared before damage accelerates. I'm Alara Sky. We'll walk through new findings that connect electron overflow in mitochondria with rising sleep pressure, why heavy fat oxidation under stress can push you toward drowsiness, and what practical steps help you reduce leaks, need less sleep, and feel steadier energy during the day. A recent Nature paper mapped sleep pressure in fruit flies by zooming in on sleep control neurons called dorsal fan-shaped body neurons. After sleep loss, those neurons showed surges in energy production genes, stressed and fragmented mitochondria, and more contact points with the endoplasmic reticulum, clear signs that cleanup and repair were being prioritized. When researchers reduced electron leak in these neurons, the flies needed less sleep. When they increased leak, the flies fell asleep faster and stayed asleep longer. That pattern ties sleep directly to electron handling. Mitochondria are constantly moving electrons through complexes to make energy. When more electrons arrive than can be safely processed, some escape early and create reactive oxygen species. Your brain reads that overflow as a danger signal and increases sleep pressure, effectively forcing a slowdown so repair can catch up. The cleaner your mitochondria run, the less sleep your system demands to restore balance. This explains everyday experiences. After stressful days or long endurance training, you may feel heavy tired because your fuel mix shifts toward fat oxidation that can clog energy pathways and amplify leaks. People with efficient metabolisms often function well on fewer hours because their mitochondria leak less, produce fewer toxic byproducts, and finish nightly cleanup sooner. Bioenergetic researcher Georgie Dinkoff extends this by arguing that excessive fat oxidation is a primary driver of sleep pressure. When you burn too much fat under stress, a key cofactor made from vitamin B2, FAD, gets depleted. That backup increases reactive oxygen species, and your body responds by pushing you into sleep to stop ongoing damage. Endurance athletes who crash into deep fatigue after long sessions illustrate this fuel handling problem in real life. There's also a serotonin link. When fatty acids flood your blood, they displace tryptophan from its carrier, more tryptophan enters your brain, and serotonin rises. Elevated serotonin is associated with fatigue and drowsiness, adding another pathway by which stressed fat metabolism can raise sleep pressure and make you feel heavy-eyed. The scientist highlighted these findings as a smoking gun for sleep's purpose summarizing how manipulating electron leak altered sleep time in predictable ways. The proposed trade-off is straightforward. Aerobic metabolism yields large energy gains, but it leaks electrons. Sleep is the mandatory interval your system uses to repair the consequences of those leaks, so you can safely use high-yield respiration again the next day. If you view sleep as an electron leak management system, daily choices that reduce leak will lower sleep pressure. Supporting mitochondria with healthy carbohydrates, avoiding extreme cardio that drives prolonged fat burning, and limiting harmful fats found in seed oils all reduce overflow and the resulting drowsiness signal. This is about matching fuel and workload, so electrons are used rather than spilled. Let's bring this into practical steps drawn from the guidance in the article. First, prioritize carbohydrates over excessive fat burning. If you eat very low carb or keto, you rely heavily on fat for fuel, increasing the chance of electron backup. Eating about 250 grams of healthy carbohydrates per day, or more if you're highly active, provides steadier fuel that helps your mitochondria run cleaner and reduces the buildup that drives sleep pressure. Second, stop using extreme cardio to earn rest. Long runs and hours of high-intensity cardio often flood your system with energy that isn't fully used, which contributes to electron overflow. 
Dinkov notes that endurance work leans hard on fat oxidation, compounding the problem. Favor moderate training and regular movement, strength work, walking, or zone two cardio. So you finish sessions feeling energized, not wiped out. Third, try aspirin to calm sleep pressure. Small doses can lower free fatty acids in your blood and reduce serotonin, two factors linked to electron leaks and daytime sleepiness in chronic conditions. The effect is to keep energy flowing more smoothly instead of backing up, which translates to steadier daytime alertness. Fourth, time your carbohydrates to support recovery. Running low on glucose nudges your body toward more fat, burning, and potential electron backup. Eating fruit after workouts or stressful days supplies quick, clean fuel when your cells need it most and helps you avoid the post-exercise crash into deep exhaustion. Fifth, focus on efficiency, not just hours. The goal isn't to chase the longest sleep. It's to help your cells make energy cleanly. Avoid seed oils and alcohol, eat enough healthy carbs, and choose moderate exercise that leaves you clear-headed. When electron supply and demand stay balanced, leaks drop, and your required sleep duration often falls with it. Diet details matter when your aim is lowering leak. Harmful fats in industrial seed oils are called out explicitly. Vegetable oil blends, soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, canola, cottonseed, grapeseed, rice bran, and peanut oils belong on the avoid list. The article also extends avoidance to olive oil, common nuts and seeds, chia, avocados, fatty fish, store-bought baked goods, conventional chicken and pork from high PUFA diets, nut and seed butters, dairy alternatives, alcohol, lean muscle meats without collagen balance, flax products, soy products, hummus and chickpeas, plant-based meat substitutes, and daily or excessive beans and legumes. For metabolic health support, the foods to include are specific. Butter and ghee, eggs, tallow, dairy fat such as raw cheese or raw milk, coconut oil, dark chocolate, bone broth, collagen or gelatin, ground beef or bison, gelatinous meat cuts like beef shank, cheek, oxtail, pork hock or shank, leg of lamb and chicken gizzards, well-cooked vegetables, in-season ripe fruit, white rice, masa harina, sourdough bread, occasional well-cooked beans, maple syrup, honey, organic sweet orange juice, homemade or quality lemonade, organic grape juice, well-cooked peeled potatoes and sweet potatoes, beets, turnips, and quality cassava flour. Seen through this lens, sleep is non-negotiable because it's how you neutralize the consequences of aerobic life. But when you reduce electron leaks through better fuel choices and training structure, you reduce the pressure to sleep long hours, and the time you do sleep feels more restorative. Here's your challenge. For the next seven days, remove seed oils and alcohol, shift your training toward moderate effort, and add healthy carbohydrates after any stressful activity. Pay attention to how quickly your daytime sleepiness eases and whether you wake feeling more restored even if you sleep the same number of hours. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.